uh big arty Seelovs. yeah hit the music you know i want that music that's right arty party time it is it's time for the arty party that was the best start of archer Seelovs career and like the it. one thing that we've just seen with Seelovs, chris is with each start that he's made in his career starting in that first game uh where everybody freaked out about oh no they're gonna mikey di pietro him how could they how could they do this to Archer Seelovs by putting him against the Rangers? Eh. And people do the same thing against Boston, against the Bruins. Same thing. Oh, they're going to tank his confidence. Speaking of tank, tank right behind you on the green screen now. In all seriousness, I've said that about six times today. Archer Seelovs. Again. Another good start. Like another good start. You haven't really seen a start from Seelovs where you say, oh, he really didn't have it. He's just showing so much promise. And again, I'm very, very... Maybe one very surprised. Single very. Single very. Just surprised to see Seelovs having this kind of success. Here's what a bit I, of a you know what? Twister. I'm gonna put an end to your arty party, okay? You gotta slow down on the Seelovs a little bit. You gotta get them back to the A. You wanna get them playing consistent games in the AHL. Oh, for sure. Yeah. This stuff here. Listen, people are getting on here. The, you know, everybody's catching a little bit of the Seelovs flu. It's going around. Everybody wants to see him start and start and start and start. And it's like, yeah, it's all good. It's all great. But slow it down a little bit, okay? With Seelovs here, you got to slow things no. down. You want to get him back in the AHL. You don't want him playing another. I don't want him splitting starts the rest of the year with Demko here. And I know he's probably, listen, he's playing better than Colin Delia. So does he make sense? Sure. Does it help Team Tank? No, he's playing good right now. Get him back in the AHL. Get him with that young group of guys that are developing. are going to go on a deep, hopefully deep, AHL playoff run. This AHL playoff team is where the development's going to be happening. For the rest of this season, there's more development to be done for every single player that the Canucks are in that age group of, you know, 18 to 22. All of those guys are going to develop more in the AHL right now. C-Laws included. They're going to have better development if they're in the AHL. Sure. C-Laws has got his taste of the NHL and everyone, it, listen, it looks really good. Maybe the, like if you just bottle that up right now, send him back. But Chris, he opens that bottle later. He's like, hey, I've had this water before. I've drank this before. I've had the NHL. He's got a taste now. So he doesn't need much more. What I would say to you is him playing out the rest of the year at the NHL, level, which I don't think should happen. There's no harm in his development is my big point here. It's not going to harm him. It's hey, not going to hurt him. All I'm saying is, are you banking on everything continuing to be positive for him if he keeps playing games? I don't know. I think it's been a very big positive Just right now. Against the it's also team. Uh, it's ahead of schedule. Okay, he's been ahead of schedule. These NHL games are ahead of schedule. It's all been positive. Bottle it up, bottle it up. 